Salutations. My name is Eclipse, EQ for short, and welcome to 100 Days of Dawncraft. Dawncraft is a mod that revamps the fighting system in Minecraft and makes it more akin to Dark Souls, with quests, mobs, and bosses to back it all up. This mod is unlike anything you've ever seen before, and I'm trying to survive 100 days and defeat the Ender Dragon. To do this, I must collect each of the 12 eyes, defeat the evils of the world, and get ready for the fights of my life. Welcome to Dawncraft. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. You can always unsub and it really helps the channel. If we hit 6,900 likes, <laughs> get it? I'll drop my next video early. So that's your quest. Now here's mine. Let's begin day one. Haven't even clicked into the game after loading it up. Night Robber, primordial one. You know, I wish I had the suffix primordial. I wish people referred to me as Eclipse, the primordial one. That sounds way cooler than Eclipse, the one that's about to get their butt fucked by this demon. Welcome to Dawncraft. This was my first time playing this mod, besides playing the older version for a bit on stream. All I knew was that I wanted to find a village and not die immediately from the insane creatures. And before I even get started, yes, the trees look bugged. I don't know how to fix them. I have every resource pack on and they still look like green squares. So I just thought I'd mention that. I, I don't know. Off the bat, I got a lot of cool loot from this villager house and made my first mistake. Yep, only three seconds into this 100 days and EQ is already blowing it. You see, you have a reputation system in this game and every time you steal from the villagers, your rep goes down. On the bright side, I did steal some gear that made me really fast. I'm not stealing. I didn't steal. I didn't, I didn't steal. Is that an iron golem I hear? I don't know if anyone's happy with me uh, procuring their, their goods. Did I just get more speed? I am Speedy Gonzalez! Yeah! I found the guild master in the village and got my first quest. Kill 10 pillagers to prove that I'm worthy of even playing this mod pack. Currently, I'm not worthy. So while I run around looking for pillagers, I took a bed with me to skip the nights. I'm in hardcore, man, and I have no idea what's in this mod. Let's not die on night one, you know? Go to bed! I am going to bed! I literally see the moon coming up. I'm, let me in my bed. Let me, it is nighttime. Night, night! Day two, I'm up bright and early looking for my bounty and a place to settle down. When I find this giant egg-shaped thingy, it's a puzzle dungeon. Think Legend of Zelda shit. And I thought it was parkour. I was sorely mistaken. So I found out that I am fucked. It's not, oh my God. Up here is a sound. I have to recreate that sound to get the puzzle stuff. I tried this bitch of a sound puzzle for like 20 minutes. I got so into it, I started second guessing if there were four notes playing or five notes playing. So I Googled it to make sure that I'm playing four or five notes. Yeah, well, it turns out Google was a little too helpful. Hey! I heard it. It's doing things. Is that the door? No. What did it open? I heard it slide. Oh, it dropped the red key! Hey! Bop! I will take it. All right, we got some spirit orbs. Fuck yeah! Yeah! It only took all day! I finished the puzzle and got two spirit orbs. That plus the one that I got from the Korok makes my total three. And keep that in mind, these will be important later. Day three, I've still not found pillagers. This structure is insane looking, by the way. If we could just, we're unmuted right now. I just would like to point that out. Holy shit fuck. It's probably really deadly. Later in day three, I picked up a goddess statue and a horn statue. And no, this doesn't count as stealing, only stuff from chests does. These statues take either life essence orbs, which drop from big mobs, or spirit orbs. You know, the one I just reverted my brain 20 IQ points to get just now? That shit can be used with these statues in return for a health boost or a stamina boost. You need four spirit orbs for an upgrade, and of course, we only have three. So, keep an eye out. Oh fuck, diamonds. Another one of these spawner lodestone chest thingies got me iron as well, so now I can make a pickaxe and a sword. 
Still have yet to see any pillagers, so I'm still running around. I, I don't know what you fucking want from me. I can't start the game without pillagers. I, I think that's bad design, but that's okay. You won't have to wait much longer, though. I promise. Just hang in there. Day five, I made my way in a circle all the way back to spawn, in which I found this little house on the water, which seemed vacant. And the water provided good protection from all the dick munchers of the night, so I stole it. No need to make a house when one just falls in your lap like this. Also, the sack works as a shulker box. Neat. End of the night, I settled into my new abode. I made a bow, a waist stone, and a bed. Now it's really home. That bow just makes it more of an American style home. Fuck yeah! Ah! What? What? Sonic wave? Oh my god, I just got fucking Sonic boomed by a goddamn phantom. It sent Sonic fucking waves into my asshole. What? Day six, I finally found a fucking pillager outpost, but there's no fucking pillagers for me to fucking find. So I sat here forever and none of them spawned. Bored, I headed to this orc dungeon camp thingy and risked my life over some shittier iron. Literally looked it up that that iron makes bad iron. Fuck me. But when I came back to the outpost, we finally had some pillagers to murder. I killed one and immediately got bad fucking omen. Let me rant about this for a second. The place you cash in quests is a village, right? Your first goal ever is to fight something that can give you an effect that without the juice from a cow stops you from being able to cash in that quest as you've just started and can't take on the raid. Fucking impeccable. End of the day, I got milk. You better or you can't play anymore. Oh my god! Oh my god! The phantom just picked up a sheep and then dropped it from a million feet to kill it. What? So I go back to the village, right? And this fucker won't talk to me. Apparently I stole from the villagers too many times and now not only am I not a friend to them, I'm a straight up fucking enemy. And the guards and iron golems will kill me on sight. The way to fix this is to give the guild master a bunch of emeralds. That's eight emeralds and one leather to make a bundle. Then you have to wait a night and when you come back, they will hate you a little less. I wish that worked in real life. Also side note, those among you that pay hella attention may notice the game looks like block game again. I turned off the shaders because my computer was hotter than a $2 pistol and about to break the sound barrier. So get over it. I'll upgrade my PC soon and then you can have your precious shaders back. Smile. Day eight and I'm paying for my war crimes of stealing two fucking loaves of bread with bribery basically. Day nine, I can finally turn in the first quest and get the most important move in this game, the dodge roll. Nine days in and we can finally start. Stamina four, roll in the direction you're moving while executing this skill. You will become immune to physical attacks. Dodge roll. I can dodge roll. Look at this. Actually, this is kind of sick. And I dodge rolled into a tree. I am now stuck. Okay. With the dodge roll, I got the quest to my first eye of our journey. The Goblin King. Welp. Looks like we got some questing to do. Let's make a new sword first, shall we? And I'm off. Heart pumping with excitement and fear. M mostly, mostly fear. This, this game's insane, so a lot of fear. B big, large amounts of fear. Mine, 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 mine. At night while running through the jungle, I found the structure with single-handedly the most important item in these 100 days. The power to bow. It deserves the theatrics, trust me. Day 10, I knew I was close to the boss because of the massive fucking health bar covering the screen, but also because the little goblin minions kept trying to kick my ass. I can't find him. He's too tiny. He's too smart. And accurate. This is a problem. The actual fight will need to wait though, because this bow needs arrows. I spent the rest of the day getting flint and making said arrows. It's, it's kind of slow in this mod pack, not gonna lie. By day 11, I was ready to storm the castle, kill the king. If you get that reference, leave a comment because you have good taste. Anyway, here's how that went. Oh my God, that's the Goblin King. He's tiny. Oh my God, there he is. Okay, he kind of hurts, but he's almost dead. Oh, fuck. Okay, the Goblin King has literally one fucking heart left. And I, I, I can't find him. He's not allowed to just despawn when he's losing. Oh, there's his magic ball of cum. That's him. There's the king. There it is, he's dead. I just need to go get that fucking eye. Uh-oh. Big 
Big guy! Big guy! Quest completed! Quest completed! Penis repeated! What? Boing! After escaping with the goblin's crown, I found a tinker's house to recoup for the night. Day 12, I found... Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm not doing create. I refuse. This is adventure Minecraft, not I sit here for 40 hours and learn how cranks work. Craft. I found a village on my way back from sniping a goblin king, took the waystone back to my main village, and hit up our good old friend, the guildmaster, who finally thinks I'm worthy enough to actually go for some eyes. Yeah, apparently what I just fought was a mini boss. Fuck, this is gonna get hard, isn't it? For now, I went to bed because tomorrow we're fixing my rep. Yes, they, they still hate me. So day 13, I'm fixing my rep and fought these priest looking plague doctor ass guys. And can I just take a minute? to just fawn over the epic fight mod. This is so amazing. I feel like an actual badass with skill when I kill things instead of just whack, whack, whack. And I really love that you can switch between both combat styles with the R button. It keeps all the gameplay options open and it's fantastic design. But this will probably be the last time I compliment this mod for a while. Uh, cause you'll see. Day 14, my rep was high enough to get the next quest, and one thing that really annoys me is how fucking far these dungeons are. This map doesn't even have an X, it's so far away. It's okay though, cause I'm not going to it for now. That goblin dungeon fucked me up hard, and I bet I'll just die from the ogre. So we gotta get stronger. This is hardcore after all. So after killing Arlog the spider, nearly dying to big orc boy. Oh! What the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm just a little boy! I went to sleep at my fisherman hut base, ready to get stronger for the next day. Day 15 was spent getting resources and food. Sounds simple, right? Well then how the fuck did I nearly die? Run. Roll, 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 running, 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 running. Holy fuck, why are bison that strong? I don't think I ever fucking greenlit that. End of the day, I'm still getting sustenance, so I cannot just keel over. And abusing that sleep strat, because day 16, we're getting ores like coal and iron. So far, my equipment is all chainmail, except for the chest plate, which would probably explain why I'm as fragile as glass. Like, two hits, and that's all she wrote for Little EQ. Day 17. Uh. Day 17, I found this crazy skeleton, and later on, I found this dungeon. I should stay the fuck away from this thing, right? Like, uh, we just we just talked about how weak I am, that I should, this is a terrible idea to jump in, like it would totally be like certain death. I went in the dungeon. What are you doing? Day 18, I'm scared shitless in this dungeon, but at least I'm getting gapples, and if I'm fast enough with these torches, nothing can spawn from these spawners, so it's not entirely as dangerous as I thought. I got a few gems down here, and melding, what the fuck does that even do? And of course, I spoke too soon. I know what that was. Nope. Nope. Nope, I'll pass. Is that a purple cow? <laughs> purple cow murdered. Maybe I should have milked it. Maybe it would have given me like magical juice. Fuck. I didn't think of that. Yeah, I killed the purple cow. Googling it, that's really rare. Damn it. The rest of the day, I'm back at my base, making a mine down to diamond level. That seems like the safest way to collect resources, because once again, too fucking fragile for my own good right now. Day 19, and to put it simply, caves are the most nerve-wracking, anxiety-spiking thing in my life right now. I did manage to find me some diamonds, though. That looks like diamond to me. That looks like Dimonde. Day 20, I found a mining goblin. This guy's chill though. Instead of beating me senseless, cause I looked at him the wrong way, like everything else, he'll trade ores and resources with me for more of them. Great little homie that never learned how to count. Now we're both stuck down here and I'm still on the track for diamonds. I did manage to find some, but I still need a few more so I can wrap myself in them for protection. You know how I said this bow is the most important item in this game? Headshot. Yeah, that's why. Also, emeralds. Fuck yeah. Deeper in the cave, I found an uncommon boss dungeon and gimped him. They didn't say I couldn't kill things in non-fight mode, so you could still beat enemies with a too high wall. It didn't even matter that much though, cause the leggings they dropped were really disappointing. Not better than our soon to be diamonds. Speak of the devil, here's some more on day 22. But the main thing I wanna highlight here is how fucking cool you feel when you don't suck at this game. I know it's a little whiplash, but look at this shit. That was so cool. And then I'm brought right back down to earth again by getting my ass kicked, as it should be. 
excuse me. Pardon? The fuck was that? The fuck was that? I don't think I want to fuck with that thing anymore. He's got a magic AOE attack. I think I'll pass. End of day 22, I used the too high wall of impenetrability to gimp a wither skeleton rare boss who dropped Maximilian leggings, which are about as good as diamond, but fuck it, I'll take them. Now I need to get the fuck out of here before I die. Day 23, I got the hell out of the cave. Or at least I would have if another boss hadn't spawned. His shirt was worse quality, so I went to make my own. Something about calling a chest plate a shirt is so cursed. What the fuck? Day 24 and our little side quest has been completed. We've made diamond armor now. With that out of the way, I went back to our guild master to continue the main quest line, and I asked him a couple questions. Three out of the four weren't illegal. The main thing I learned about was the eyes themselves. See, in this mod, you need to find 12 different ender eyes to fill the portal, like I said in the intro. To get those, we need to kill seven bosses, get an eye per fight, find the other four from miscellaneous means, like dumb, bump, 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 rump, bump, 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 rump, bump, 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 little drummer boy. Yeah, okay. Then you find the other four from miscellaneous means, such as dungeons and uh, temples and stuff. And the clerics have the evil eye. So I need to trade with them and maybe a Fletcher. Let's hope the villagers like me this time tomorrow. I ended the day looking at this beautiful sunset. Uh, no sarcasm, actually. This is oddly beautiful for block game. Dawn is upon us, and I can finally talk to the villagers without being shunned or stabbed. I will never steal again, I promise. First thing I did was complete a side quest, get a hay bale for this farmer. Once I've done that, I'm rewarded with a trading contract. If I want to trade with anyone, I've got to have one of these. Meaning I've got to run some errands for these bitches. I need 10 emeralds for the Fletcher, a Basala boat for a fisherman, I have no clue what that even is, and a magma cream for the clerics to open up. Day 26, I gave the emeralds to the Fletcher and even learned the ancient knowledge of arrow making, meaning I can now use a fletching table. And I can make some cracked arrows. Using iron instead of flint, I can make broad-headed arrows that cause bleeding. They're from the Apotheosis mod and are gonna be really, really useful in our boss fights. Now it's time to go fight the ogre or nearly die to rats, that works too. Day 27, we're off for real this time to find the ogre and procure our first eye. On the way, I found a broken portal and I got told that if I fix it up and make it to the nether, the game will become expert mode. Huh? So there's an expert mode and I put myself on hardcore in the hardcore level mod pack without knowing this. Joy. So new plan, hold off from going to the nether and activating expert mode for as long as possible. Day 28, I made it to the spot where the orc should be, and he was not. Remember how that red X wasn't there when it was supposed to be on the map? Yeah, that meant he didn't spawn. Like, like his tower and shit, it's just not there. This is where I have problems with the pack. I get that it's new and bugs happen, but when this occurred, I googled it to see what I could do to fix it. Well, it turns out you can't get another map and you cannot progress the storyline to get the other maps, which you'll find out later are imperative, without killing this orc and taking the eye. So bar from randomly finding one that wasn't on a map, which let me be clear. Now let me be clear. These structures only spawn like once every century, so that's not really a possibility. The only solution is to spawn one in ourselves and fight on the beach. I, I can forgive it because this mod is new, but regardless, I spawned him in and fought the orc for our first eye. All right, let's piss off the ogre. He's, at, oh, that's so, okay. Credit to the game. We're getting the corrupted eye for this. Oh, oh, he's not done. Credit to the game. We're getting the corrupted eye for that. He was, what the fuck? What is that? All right, first eye collected, but uh, credit to the game. He had the eye in his eye. It was neat looking. God fucking damn it, whatever. Told you that bow was good. That's one of 12, Thomas. Put the pretty graphic on the screen. After getting the eye, we've unlocked the smoker and blast furnace. I didn't know that it was locked, but now it's not. All right, let's go fight another boss to keep the ball rolling. Before I do though, we can now make a blast furnace and I thought it was weird to lock that recipe in the first place. Like what could it do? Smelt ores faster? So I looked it up. 
In the REI, they had fucking locked shields behind steel, which you need a blast furnace to make. So I went home and made a shield. I love the way you wield it though. It, uh, it's fucking sick. Epic fight mod, once again, just amazing. Day 31 and my next boss was actually the primordial one from spawn. So I got ready with my bow and shield and I already know this is gonna piss someone off. What the fuck? Not immune to arrows. This counts as cheese, right? Cheese. All right, I'll go in and finish him properly. Fine, fine. The whole point of this mod is fighting. I'm gonna just get him down to absolutely no health and then fight the... Oh my God, I do no damage. I do like literally no damage. Okay. So, best way to kill things? Decided. Um, that's a netherite sword. And that's an eye. Best way to kill things? Literally just a bow. Just literally get yourself a fucking bow. Just don't use anything else It's not needed. Also, new sword. Will take. Big has. Netherite. Don't use anything else. That dude was really strong. I don't know what the fuck I was supposed to do in any other sense other than what I just did. Yes, I cheese the fight. If the game lets me abuse my bow, then that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Huh? This is hardcore. You can't legally be mad that I cheesed. I'm alive, and that's two eyes, bitches. And a netherite sword. I'll take it. Beating this boss also unlocked a million things for me, and I'm feeling hot right now. So I'm gonna try my luck at the next eye wielder, the Caddo Ninetales. Back-to-back -back bosses, bitch. Day 32, I took the map and ran off to find the barn that the boss resides at. According to our guildmaster, uh, guildmaster's too formal. I'ma call him Gary. Guildmaster Gary. I like it, it rolls off the tongue more. So I took that map that Guildmaster Gary gave me and ran off in the general direction of the Ninetales. Day 33, I stole gold from a broken portal and kept us moving. Day 34, my homie Bolarg and I got into a fight. His AI was really smart, so it was a struggle to contain him for cheesing, but I managed to get him trapped in this pond, and after 14 hours, beat him to death for some shit gear. Disappointing. I needed kangaroos for a quest villager, though, so I fought one. This is how that went. I will not kill the daughter. Just give me the leg. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, what the fuck? It kicked me so hard, I started bleeding. Did you just move dash on top of- I'm, I'm getting wave dashed on. This dude knows how to play competitive melee. I'm fucked. By the end of the Great Kangaroo War, it was nighttime, so I ran to the nearest village, and that's where I realized something terrible. I lost my map. Somewhere along the way, I dropped the map, and now I'm pretty much screwed. At first, I thought it was nothing, right? Oh well, you know, I'll just go back to the guild master at a village and get another map that will lead me to the same spot, right? No. Oh well, that's okay, I'll just go into creative and spawn one in. Nope. Even after Googling it, I learned that it's impossible to get another map. Meaning that if you lose the map at any time, or it happens to be broken like that orc quest, bar from spawning in the boss, your journey is over and you cannot play the main quest line anymore. There's no excuse for that, that needs to be fixed. That is just bad, that is terrible. I, 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 I look. This game, I'm giving it a lot of props for all the things it does right. That is bad. Day 35, I did get really lucky though, cause I was near the structure when I remembered losing the map blast. So after some wandering, I did manage to find it and we can continue playing. Still a really big flaw in this mod pack design. I hope they fix that. Alas though, we have found the third bearer of the eye, the Caddo Ninetales. That's a beast. Really don't think we should let it free. Okay. Nice, nice. All right, big dog, let's eat. Aha! You do take arrow damage. Just your tails don't. And when you're in a move, I really need to pace this or I'm gonna break this bow. Bye, bitch. Charge. 
and stupid. Nice, 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 nice. Punish for him being greedy. Genius. Absolute schmoove dash. And punch. And dumbass. I missed. Oh, no. Okay. All right. He's almost dead. That's it, bitch. Woo! Where's Atlantis? That fight got much harder. And my bow isn't as useful as it used to be. They're learning. This might cause problems. For now, though, that's the third eye, the exotic eye. And our next quest is the Skeleton Overlord. Yeah, fuck that. We need better gear. Day 36, I'm researching how to do that. I'm in Diamond already, and I thought there'd be a lot of crazy gear that I could make my way to work towards, you know? Like all the other mod packs. But the best stuff I found was just netherite. So the only way to progress is to go to the nether, which turns on expert mode. I went looking for a blacksmith because my balls are small and I'm too afraid of what expert mode is going to do to me, but I can't avoid it for much longer. Day 37, I lit the portal and went to the nether. This sucked. I spawned in a crimson forest, so everything's deadly as fuck, and immediately I started tunneling. I wanted to be as safe as possible, so I quickly mined down to netherite level. Caught myself on fire from some magma blocks and mined for netherite. This part was painful because I only had one diamond pickaxe, unenchanted, to find everything I needed. Obviously, I came up short. I need unbreaking enchants and anvil shit, man. But I'm pretty sure I need to find a blacksmith to teach me how to anvil, so I really can't progress without him after all. It's this guy again. Hey! Hello there, adventurer. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm writing a paper about the wildlife of this fair world as I'm quite frightened of a few of them. Interact with ten different ones. I'll give you a magic key as a reward. What does interact mean? We still have not learned that. Also, I want this. Does that count as interacting? Animals interacted with one of ten. Yep, it does. Day 39, I nearly got got by a pillager, but took home a wither skull as my trophy and interacted with all ten animals that I needed to for the side quest. So on day 40, can be used to disable puzzle dungeon. Oh, fuck. We gotta find more puzzle dungeons. Okay, not even gonna lie. I wanna find a puzzle room now. I know I'm supposed to be looking for anvils and blacksmiths, but fuck that. Puzzle. Day 41, I'm running off for a puzzle dungeon, but of course I'm not ignoring all the loot from everywhere else. Like this structure that housed the Ender Eye, or Eye of Ender, bringing our total to four. I think. And then, I found this. What is this thing? I'm breaking in, I don't know what it is, but I'm coming in. Let me in. Hello? Trident? Now, I know what this structure already is. I've seen it in my better Minecraft 100 days. And I'm gonna show you how to loot the best shit from it without getting hurt. You build yourself all the way up to the top, and then in the middle of these pillars, dig through and break the Wither Skeleton Spawner. Congratulations, four chests have opened up to you, and bullshit amounts of diamond gear are yours. It's nighttime though, so we're sitting here till morning, cause there's three other pillars with a total of 12 more chests to steal from. Day 42, there was three diamond blocks in this fucking chest. I told you this shit was bull. Oh shit. 10 attack damage. I got a better sword. The violent diamond sword of the duelist. Angry, angry sword. Holy shit, the hall, the hall. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So from one structure with no threat of dying, I got full protection gear, a literal stack of diamonds, and if we count the tiny house and trident with channeling, I'm set. Day 43, with all my dope ass loot, I've got to organize it. Day 44, we're finishing organization. But look how sick we look at Enchanted Diamond now. I'm sure there's no way we're gonna nearly die right after. Oh shit, Rhino. Hey, uh, you're part of a quest. No longer part of a quest, I've changed my mind. Did you just eat my fucking gapple? The horse just ate my golden apple because I was right clicking. What a bastard. What a bastard. 
Fuck you, going to bed. D45, I found a create saw and begrudgingly took it. Might need it, who knows. You are, you dance with the devil. You are a fucking thrill seeker, adrenaline junkie. Or you just have no, no regard for life. Then I made the most irritating discovery. I could just use smithing tables? Since when? What? I didn't have to, I don't have to learn how to use smithing tables? Apparently, somewhere along the way, I've become skilled enough for anvils and smithing tables and don't actually need to learn the fucking skill from the blacksmith. God, I'm so stupid sometimes. You son, no, F this is mine. This is my night skipper, not you. Fucking bitch. Day 46, I shot a boss to death with a million arrows and with my anvil was able to not only fix up my gear, but repair my bow as well. These enchants aren't anything special, but they're all I've got. Hey, wait a fuck a minute. At the time of recording this, I deadass just realized that I now have a stack of diamonds, which equals a dick ton of diamond pickaxes. Which means I've been working on the railroad all the live a long day. Gotta get netherite to stop me from dying. In all seriousness, I mined netherite for the next three days. It would have been quicker, but I needed two more ingots for this. <laughs> yes! Yes! Okay. Starting to feel a little bit better about my chances against the next die holder. Ton of undyings are like crack for hardcore runs, man. So for the sake of time, day 51, netherite has been made, and now let's go fuck a skeleton king. Dude, can you not pick up a whole ass horse? Bro, you're a menace. You're a menace. You are a menace. No, God, it's a boss! Oh, of course it fucking is! Day 52, while looking for the king, a wandering trader rolled up and... Oh, you are muy importante. Enchanted gap. I'll be right back. Hello, sir. I'll take that. My name is Jackson Dekai. Day 53, we're still running for the temple. One thing about this mod that I fucking hate is how far everything away is. I know I've said it a lot, but 90% of the adventure is the trek to the location, not the dungeon itself. It's fine though, because I have the magic of YouTube editing and on day 54, I found a puzzle? Yeah, I was shocked too. Ever since the start of these 100 days, I hadn't seen one, but here it is. And stop the video, because this fucking puzzle melted my brain. I know I have that key, I'm the type of person that doesn't want to use any of the items until they get to the very end of the game, just in case they might need it later. I'm, I'm that type of guy, so I didn't use the key, and this puzzle ruined my life. You have to get these cauldrons in this colored glass spot. Fuck it up, and the door won't open. You do this by pressing buttons on the floor in front of you to push every block in that column or row, respectively. And if that wasn't hard enough, the buttons are mirrored. So welcome to day 55 through 100. I spent the rest of my days trying to open this dumb fucking puzzle. All right, that's a joke, but it damn near felt like it. I even get so close here, but close only counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and how close we are to 100K. Subscribe. At the end of day 55, I finally got the puzzle, and needless to say, I was pretty proud of myself. That's it. I did it. I did it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I fucking did it. Oh my god. Oh my god. No key needed. I did it. Yes. I feel so brain. Using the spirit orbs I got from that puzzle, I went to the horn statue and bought myself a health up. Imperative to the hardcore run and it was really expensive requiring you to be two puzzles for one heart container So I must be getting like three to four heart uh, that one one I got one heart up from that. What is that gonna fucking do for me uh, one health? Have you seen how much damage the things do in this game? Fuck me. Well, it better be enough because up there Yeah, that's the skeleton Lord. I built my way up to his temple and here's how it went. Is that a balloon? It's an enemy balloon, and it's grabbing one of the homies. What is with everything lifting things up nowadays? 
This is absolutely fucked. You did not just bring me an enemy. Oh, you think that one's the Lord of Sorcery Skeleton Overlord? You think that one right there? All right, first test. Is he immune to arrows? No. Second test. Is he angry? Yes. Oh, he's really not immune to it. Can I, can I just cheese? Are you an idiot? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. All right, we're going in for the final blow. He just died from bleed damage. Oh my god. Holy shit. Roll, please. Take the eye, 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 leave now. You know what? That's fine by me. I'll take this one. Killing the guy was easy. He was cheesable. The problem was getting off the island. Oh, you fuck. Oh, bad news. Dude, there's the Aether Blowy guys. The Blowy Joeys. The Blowy Joeys. Another one? Um, okay. Uh, there's a lot more than just one. Jesus, fuck! No, the real enemy is getting off the island alive. That's the real challenge here. Come on, out of the range, 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 go. Waystone, my name has been Eclipse, EQ for short, and I'm home. Woo! The next eye to steal from is the Holy Knight and he has the guardian eye. So I'm off holding down the W key till I get to my destination. Really just annoying. I even tabbed out of the game at this point and I pulled up a Ludwig video on my other monitor. This is important because I wasn't paying much attention, which turned out to be a fatal mistake. There is a sand pit blocking the door with the devil baby inside of it. There is a Batman sofa that we are on half a heart. 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 What the fuck did just happen to me? I was just not even looking. I was, I, I wasn't, I was on my way to magic land and ah, uh, oh, thank God we got that extra fucking heart boost or I would have been dead. Okay, nearly fatal. Still scared me shitless. I was hyper-focused for the rest of the boat ride till I saw the piss gold health bar of the Sentinel Knight. Okay, he has he has a swoopy. He has a big cum zone. That that's that's a move. Oh shit. Okay, okay, that hurts. That hurts. Let's not. Let's not and say we did. Let's not and say we did. Let's not and say we did. Let's not and say we. I was doing things. Hold on, my mic's not. Oh, it just came off the stand. This is not good. Ah oh, shit. Tom, the cup. Thomas, don't keep this in. God. That's so much damage. That's so much damage. We're eating another gapple here. I don't give a shit. I hope I, I hope I baited him. I didn't bait shit. He is he is fine. He is completely sober. No baiting. It's okay, cause I am the master baiter. No! Why do you do so much damage? I'm in full netherite. Just calm the fuck down. Oh god. Eat again, eat again, eat again. Eat again, eat again. Hey! Bitch! I'm doing things! Stop! What is happening behind me? Maybe I don't want to find out. Maybe I don't want to find out. Oh my god! Wait, the eye! Wait, that's the eye behind me! I don't even have to kill this guy. I can just steal it and leave. Fuck you. I'm killing him though. He's almost dead. Do you think he has the shield up because he's taking bleed damage and that is what his AI does to defend himself? Because these arrows are piercing that, doing no damage to him but causing bleed. I am bleeding this man to death. Die! Yes! All right. Gotta give him props. That felt more Dark Soulsy. I won the fight, but I couldn't grab the Guardian Eye. And at this point, you can't blame me for thinking the game was bugged. I tried everything, but I couldn't get it. What I had to do was use the key that the Knight dropped, but I didn't notice that he dropped one on top of his sword because I already had a key in my inventory. So I went into creative and gave me the eye, assuming it was bugged. One point to Dawncraft and big, large, dumb to me. Whatever. Either way, we've got the sixth eye. Back to Gary and he gave me a ball of hair said it was for some giant or something. And since I'm just this world's little errand boy, we're off.
did the Enderman just roundhouse kick me? Getting roundhoused by an Enderman. That's not a sentence I thought I'd ever say. Killing the Enderman, he dropped a shield that he must have been hiding in his ass, because I didn't see him use it. Day 60, you know the shtick by now, I'm still running to find the fucking boss. Really think this mod suffers from everything's too fucking far away syndrome. Have I said that enough? Because everything's too fucking far away. Hey, would you look at that? It's day 61 and I'm still fucking running. Day 62, I finally got close and found this giant volcano looking arena with a hand in the middle. I put the hair in and... I don't know any other way you hit this man other than a bow. Whoo that was close. But I'm gonna take that time to wail on him. Eat, 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 eat. Take time to eat, go. What the fuck's going on here? Okay, he's angry. He's summoning things? He's pissed? He's calling his mom? He's throwing a fit so the teacher will come out and get me in trouble, get me detention? What the fuck are you- WHAT THE FUCK?! Okay! That did not go as far as I thought it would. Can you not move anymore? Man's just de -spot. You don't get to just quit! God damn it! Fine, future Eclipse, explain what the fuck's gonna happen. So that fight just ended. Just, uh, just, that, that, that guy just left. And to pull the curtain and lift the veil for a second, I greatly apologize, but the game is also apparently really broken again. Yeah, I'm tired of this too. But for some reason, halfway through the fight, the fire giant just keeps leaving. He just says, fuck it, I'm going home, and he despawns. This was like the fifth time that he did this. I kept having to reload the fight and try again and again and again, but no matter how many times I tried, he never stayed for the whole fight. Thing to note, this is genuinely an actual problem. I'm not just stupid. How do I know? They literally fucking patched it out today as of me writing this script. Here's the screenshot of the patch notes. I'm not joking. But I recorded this a week back, so I just had to give myself the eye to complete the quest. Annoying, but we've got a lot more to see, so let's not dwell. We now have seven eyes. And Gary didn't have a quest to give me. He said I had bested all the eye bearers. Being five eyes short, it was time to find the rest of the eyes in the world's secret dungeons, bosses, and from the cleric. And we can even craft some. So our journey has become a little less streamlined, but still very straightforward. Day 64, I want to craft the undead eye, and to do that, I need to find a ghast and steal its tears. However, a barrage of fireballs went from my balls when I entered the nether. I thought they were ghasts, so I got closer and found out they were giant fire squids. I killed one and it dropped blaze powder, which means I can make magma cream and unlock the cleric. Yeah, it took me that long to get blaze powder. I don't like the nether very much. Day 65, I made my magma cream, got a quest line from a librarian that I never end up filling out. Rip that, homie. And at night, I found a witch. Tried to get its eye, but the greedy bastard didn't give it to me. I need a witch eye and an ender eye to make our eighth eye, by the way. Also, to get the evil eye, we need to max out our cleric trades, I learned. Never mind, the boss did drop this helmet, so not useless. The stats are insane, but it has leather level durability. Day 66, I'm back in the nether, cause with help from the discord, we can find two eyes here. The nether eye, found in fortress chests, and the cursed eye, found in bastions. I'm in a bastion looking for the cursed eye. What I did not expect to find was this. What the fuck is that? Hey, um. Hey, I'm giant, giant hand guy. Problem. Are you summoning it, your senders? Like six of them! Yeah, I nearly just lost the run to a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple giant skeleton. I learned they spawn from those little mage goblin guys and that they're ruthless. I retreated for now. And day 67 tried my hand out of the big tower that I marked for later. But there was just too fucking many enemies, so I had to dip for now. Turns out the nether was more tame. Just gotta stay away from Barney the Purple Death Machine. You do not have eyeballs. I have decided your balls are in that chest and they are made of nether and they will help me. I got some good gear, but still no eyes. The latter half of day 68, I found a fortress and forgot that this was on expert mode for a second. 
Justin has awoken nearby. I have never been more scared. Red alert. Justin has arrived. Justin! Justin! Justin, you motherfucker, get your ass over here! Justin! Justin! Justin, you have made some friends, it seems. Ah, uh, Justin, I have found a couple of your friends. Justin! Justin thinks I've got bad! Justin! Justin, there are new people, it's no longer just us! Justin, you have caused me strife. Justin, I have neutralized the other opponent, it's just you and I again. 23 months later, we will have defeated Justin. Justin is a pig, by the way. Thank you, Justin. No, come back. Justin, you're almost dead. Justin, you're so low. Justin. 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 Why the fuck did he go berserk mode? Justin! 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 Goodbye, Justin. Is that a netherite helmet? Oh, Justin, you shouldn't have. Justin's boulder string iron great helmet of the forge god. Day 69, and I'ma stop you before you stop me. I know I usually build a sign to commemorate funny sex number, but I didn't have time this go around. So please accept my handwritten, bar spitting, fire litten, coffee spilling, freezer chilling, tear and pulling 69 IOU. Yes, I actually did all those things to that paper in real life. Please accept my apology. Also look down in the comment section for a 69 sign. Are we cool? Okay, we're cool. By the way, jump scare warning. The very real <laughs> Found him! Located! Welcome to this is how we have to fight everything. Aha! I've killed Viril. And I got gold horse armor and a backpack! You know I've not had a backpack this whole fucking game. We will take that. Day 70 in a different fortress, I finally found the nether eye, bringing our total to eight, baby. Day 71, I found a second nether eye, but that doesn't count, and it's not the cursed eye. By the end of the day, though, I did find the cursed eye in the bastion that was guarded by the ghost of an angry eggplant. And that means I can finally fuck off the nether. If I can get out. Look, I have no need to be here. I promise you, I believe. I promise you, I, I will not be staying. Do not worry. Oh, I'm the one worried. What the f You know, I should have I should have known better. I should have known giant skeleton monster knows hyper beam. I should have I should have known. I should have known. I should have fuck I should have been aware. It's my dumb fault. It's my dumb ass's fault. It honestly, that's on me. Now that we have nine eyes total, my house is getting a little cramped. And with all that shit that I pillaged from my adventures just piling up, I think it's time for some changes. Of course, it's nighttime though, so for now, I'm going to sleep. Day 73, I went back to the Skeletonite Arena, you know, the primordial one, and chopped the tree in the middle, placed my waystone, and claimed this arena as my new home. Day 74, my house fucking caught fire, so now I really need to move. Uh, I mean, what? Huh? How? A good thing we're moving anyway, I guess. Shit. We gotta move, like, now. And for the sake of time, I'm just gonna put all these days in a little chunk and explain that I renovated the arena, made new chests, dug all the dirt, replaced the flooring. I have noticed an issue. Can you figure out what the problem is? My portal put me directly into a bastion's butthole. But most importantly, I found an underground test bunker of some sort with this in it. Don't forget about those strength potions. They're important. I stopped renovations halfway through though, cause my new PC got here. I ended up building it, and now I can run shaders on mod packs flawlessly. But for the sake of continuity, we're gonna keep them off for the rest of this. Next 100 days though, wink wink. By day 80, I'd moved everything and settled into my new base. Now it's time for the final three eyes. The witch eye, the evil eye, and the cold eye. That's the big one. Day 81, I'm chopping trees to get wood to farm the last few emeralds I'd need to get love from the clerics. See, I've given a lot of bundles to my village, so everything is really cheap now. And I won't need too much for the evil eye. I got distracted learning about sanguine steel today, though, and what I learned was that it's used to make a new weapon. You know that crazy scythe that the priests were wielding in some of our fights that we've had? Yeah, I can make that. It attacks a bit slower, but is way more powerful. And I'm only a couple items short of making it a reality. Day 82, another witch refused to drop their balls. And day 83, I'm trading with the clerics, who, for the right price, sold me all the last items I need to make that scythe, the Lycanthrope elixir. 
And for seven and a rabbit's foot. Why a rabbit's foot? Why do you require a rabbit's foot? Why why rabbit's foot? Why why rabbit's foot? Why? Day 84, I'm slaughtering all the animals that I find. PETA would be pissed. I need feathers for arrows, meat for food, and a fucking rabbit's foot. One thing to note today, I killed this guy and got the last life essence orb to level up my health one more time. Now we have a whopping 12 hearts. At night, the game fucked with me even more because I found a lucky rabbit's foot and that doesn't count, but I did manage to get a proper one. And at the end of night 85, two left. I finished the night by fixing up my gear. A lot of it ended up breaking in this tower, so we're down to diamond, which blows, but I don't have time to worry about that. I need to find a witch. Day 86, I did just that. Ran around like a chicken with my fucking head cut off all night till I found a witch, killed said witch, and made the witch's eye. Leaving the cold eye as our big bad finale to the 12 eye saga. That was done for a reason. Day 87, to get the cold eye, we must best the frost ma in battle. This will be our strongest opponent yet, so I'm making that new scythe. I think this guy drops a life essence, Orby Warby. What is that? What are all those blocks up there? It, it, not important. Oh. Life Orby Warby acquired. That's so sick. That's so fucking cool. Day 88, 89, and 90 are all spent in the nether floor, scrounging up as much netherite as I can possibly have to make gear that will live this beast. You see, I had experience fighting this guy before since I did all the way back in my old MC Eternal series, and he kicks ass. We very much could lose right here if I'm not careful. One of the millions of witches I killed dropped two infinity books on death, so I put that on my bow, made a lot of bread because I desperately need food, and by the end of day 91, that's as much time as I've got to prepare. So let's do this. Day 92, I ran off for the frost maw. They only spawn in cold biomes, so I had to wander around till I found one, since for most of this project, I've ran around in jungles, oceans, and deserts. Hey, hey, what the fuck is that thing? I see why I haven't found ice biomes before. They're fucking terrifying! Finn! Okay. Well. Come at me, Frostmaw. Where are you at? <gasps> you are not Frostmaw. You are giant vagina monster man. No, 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 Day 93, I found ice biomes and even found myself an egg puzzle. They're not actual eggs, but they definitely look like it. I went in with 100% intention to just use the key and get out, but I found it was parkour and I wanted to flex. Oh, it's parkour. No, I got this. No, I got this. Let's prove that I'm built different. Okay, lag. Oh! Oh, I see why the lag! I, I I can't fucking believe they just made stuff start spinning. Like, can can we can we talk about that? This is Minecraft. Those things are rotating in real time. What do I keep bumping into? Oh. Yeah, okay, I get it. There we go. Wait, is this the end of the puzzle? Huh? That was it? What the fuck is this for then? Should I not have been able to do that? Did I just cheese the puzzle? Cause, oh, I almost did that too. What the fuck? I mean, I won the puzzle, but I don't, I, I don't think I did it right. I don't think you were supposed to be able to make that jump. Day 94, I found him. Frostmaw's massive health bar popped up. So after some inventory rearranging, we fought. Why the fuck was that open and yet not open? Okay, welcome to the fight. Luckily, I know everything a Frostmaw can do. That's probably the only advantage I have. I'm still really shit at this game. Clearly. Oh, okay. 
okay. You didn't hit shit. Okay, so if we can force him to back away, we can bulk that for a sec and then run on this ice. Also, I did A damage. That was nice. Don't you roar. I'm gonna drink this juice and run in. He backed away, he backed away. Good, good, good. We have to, we have, we have to trust that back away. Also, we gotta run, like a lot. Hit him! Oh, you're frozen, solid. That's a good point. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Use the ice, use the ice. Get the distance, dodge the ball. He seems to wanna go, like he's got a homing fucking thing on that ball where he is ready to go where I'm going to be. But the dodge roll seems to stop and he can't really calculate that, watch. Yeah, no, 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 no. you're a fucking idiot, buddy. Uh, underwater. That was not part of the plan. Hello. Yeah, it's all right, I just, I thought I'd take a swim. I was, I was, you know, in the neighborhood. Thought I might as well. I'm swimming again, actually, fun fact. Duh! Oh God, he's getting faster. That's what he's doing. Okay. I, I got a plan. I need him to roar again though. Oh my God! Nope! 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 Oh, what did he just, my man just squared up. My man just squared up. I'm gonna pop a totem. What is he doing? I don't like that. Oh my God, walls. Walls are very helpful. Back away, bitch. That ain't backing away, you fucking swiped at me. You fucking swiped at me. Feel like it's part of the sport. That feels like you're a little, little, little bullshit. Also, I think I've located cheese. I can just sit here and and get my health back. Wait, why are the iron golems mad? Why are the iron golems mad? I am on. I am in the villagers' good graces. Oh, they're bad at frost maw. Well, that ain't gonna go well. Good luck. Good luck, team. Eye. Run, 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 run. Ho! Oh! And that's I-12. Ender Dragon, I'm coming for you. Day 95, it's crunch time. We only have five days to prep for this dragon fight and it could be fucking anything. I have no idea, I didn't look up anything up beforehand. I just know dragon, I'm going in. So I'm in the nether to get two ingots of netherite again, but this time to get a shiny new totem as I was bitch slapped out of my last one. I got lucky and day 96 was able to buy one. I stayed in the nether to get a couple more debris to make me a new helmet, and then I had a guest over. Um, who are you? And why are you in my house? I'm gonna require you to exit. Oh, I'm thinking maybe that was an enderman, but I hit it with an arrow, and it's not what normal endermen look like, and he had weapons. Day 97, I put together an enchanting table and you can't even enchant the scythe, so I don't even know why I did that. I put the shittiest enchants on my gear because it never occurred to me that every time I use my waystone, I'm burning levels. So I'm experience poor, but we're out of time, so this will have to do. I have to say, this is as close to the wire as my 100 days have ever gotten. Just wanted to point that out. Day 98, I took all 12 eyes and ventured off one last time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the rogue eye, the lost eye, the Exotic Eye, The Guardian Eye, Corrupted Eye, Cursed Eye, Nether Eye, Evil Eye, Witch Eye, Cold Eye, and Magical Eye. All that's left is to throw the Ender Eye. Never mind. How the fuck do I find the portal? 
Do I use these eyes? Hold on. I totally do. I use the special eyes. Okay. Off we go then. And so I ran. And ran. And ran. Day 99, the eye changed direction and I triangulated the portal. Almost dying from ball damage. Classic. But I'm here. I'm in the stronghold. It's a young stronghold, and we all know how much I love those, so I'm aimlessly wandering around all day 99. I found a library with projectile evasion. It says that it just avoids attacks entirely. That sounds like cheating. What is it? It's back! I mean, he can't go through walls, so that's good. He has more health than I think he illegally should, though. Okay, he died. And my man just compressed himself and exited. And at the end of day 99, I finally found it. And I ran into a problem. I'm one eye short. I was under the impression that the Eye of Ender worked as one of the eyes. It does not. The only other eye that we can get are the Wither Eye and the Undead Eye. The former needing two wither skulls to kill, and we don't have time to farm those, and the latter, well, I'll let them tell you. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. To get this eye, and, and I, I hope everyone is okay with this, because I want a satisfying ending to this 100 days. I'm in creative. To get this eye normally, you need phantom membrane, bone, gas tear, rotten flesh. Easy, I have all that at home. But you also need the undead soul. To find the undead soul, the only way to get it is a skeleton horse. The only way to get that. Now, if you want me to like, uh, you know, maybe tell you the odds of finding a skeleton horse, I can't. 2.25% uh, when lightning strikes a skeleton. That means it has to be during night where a skeleton spawns while it's raining so lightning can strike it and then it has a 2.25% chance of spawning it. That's probably impossible. But I want a really good ending to this 100 days, and I want to at least fight the fucking dragon. So I hope everyone is okay with me spawning in a skeleton horse. Undead soul acquired. Day 100. The ancient gods gave us a skeleton horse, so I made the undead eye, and I'm gonna shut up for this moment. A hundred days have led up to this, 12 eyes in hand, we lit the portal. The final one. I have to say, this is the coolest end portal I've ever lit. The final fight's on the other side, so I leave you with this. No matter what happens, this has been one of the most fun packs I've ever played. Stressful, very, very stressful, but fun. A little buggy, but fun. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Eclipse, Dragon Slayer for short, and Arrivederci. Hey, stop it! Hey! Calm the fuck down! Ah, I'm scared. Panic apple. Can you calm the hell down, lady? Yes. Oh! Idea! Yeah, yeah, place water. Fucking genius. Uh, it didn't work. You don't need that crystal. Yeah! What the fuck? Ow. Ow. Yeah, that sucked. She's got a crystal in that fucking wall. Uh, I hate when that happens. Thank you, modded Minecraft.
Oh my god, that's a lot of Ender Knights. Mine the Obsidian. Mine the Obsidian. Mine the Obsidian. Mine the Obsidian. I'm gonna eat one of the gaffles. There it is. Just gonna hit it. Oh, now I'm not. Because I'm above it, so this explosion's gonna hurt. Should have gone under. Oh, fuck. All right, bitch. You're out of crystals. Let's dance. Hi. Mono e mono. You and it's me, bitch. I I got really good aim. Really good aim. I'm not really stressed. What do you mean? Can she be hit with arrows while she's perched? She cannot. I fucking don't even see that I'm hitting her. But I think I know why. Uh-oh. I am hitting her, look at her health. It is decreasing. I'm about to drop. Oh, 10 more seconds. All right, definitely about to drop. Oh, I didn't see that. It blended in. Eat the gapple, eat the gapple. Who cares, who cares, who cares? Eat the fucking gapple. Five, four, three, two. Got it. Come on, bitch. She's so low. Fuck. Okay, we are running out of everything and time. We gotta finish this. Four, three, two, one, drop. Oh no! You gotta die now! You gotta die like now! Eight. She's so low. Don't get greedy. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop. Bucket. Come on, bitch. Yes! Ha! Impending doom. What? Impending doom approaches. Oh my god. I lost my totem at that last second. I fucking lost my shit. Thank you all so much for watching. My name has been Eclipse. EQ for short. Oh, that's a lot of things down there. Subscribe.